है एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोडिंग डॉट्स सो आई एम श्योर यू हैव सीन सो मैनी एप्लीकेशन्स वेर वी डोंट हैव टू लॉग इन अगेन एंड अगेन सो वेन वी विल ओपन अवर एप फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वी विल लॉग इन इन टू दैट वन एंड वेन वी विल ओपन इट इन सेकेंड टाइम सो वी डोंट वॉन्ट द यूजर हैव टू लॉग इन अगेन एंड इफ यू विल ओपन द एप नेक्स्ट टाइम एंड वी then also you have to log in again okay so what we will do we will try to uh, create an function so with that uh, what will happen the user uh, when user will log in we will save some data in our local storage okay so uh, when user will come again after closing the app so the, uh, we will check from the local data is he logged in or not if he will log in Uh, if he is logged in, then we will uh, let him go to the our first screen, okay? Our dashboard screen, screen, whatever you called it. So, uh, what I'm gonna do today? Today, first uh, we will go to this application. Uh, I have created one application already. Uh, if you have, if you want to know how to create this application, this is uh, uh, for very beginners of Android app, uh, developers. It is a very simple UI design and very simple application starting from the very beginning. So um, this is CRUD application. Okay. So what we gonna do today? Uh, we gonna create this remember me button. And uh, if you want, you can give this function. If you want, I can remove this also. And uh, if the user will log in, he don't even have to click on remember me. He will log in automatically. Okay. so let's try both things so what i'm going to do first i'm going to this uh, uh, login activity okay this is my main activity for right now okay so uh, with this uh, uh, with what we going to do that we going to use shared preference okay so shared preference will help us to store the data locally okay so just type public static uh and final so no one can change it and we are going to create an string okay so public static file uh, final string i'm going to name it shared if okay equal to now simply name it anything you want i'm giving it shared if so okay okay so after this uh okay so after this uh we have created one shared preference uh, string okay so now what i want so when the user logged in successfully okay we all already have written the code here if you have not watched how uh, how can you make a user login you can check in our cirud application play playlist okay so let's find out how to when the user is logged in successfully uh, okay here so here we here our user is logged in so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create an object of shared preference okay so uh shared preference is this one okay uh, sorry uh, this one okay shared preference equal to get shared preference preference we have to do and here we can pass shared prefers and mode should be private okay okay great so after this we need editor okay uh, what editor editor will do using editor we can edit uh, we can write into shared preference okay so use our shared preference dot editor we have to do okay and uh, the object name should be editor and anything you want to give okay and here we can type shared preferences dot edit okay very simple okay so we have the editor right now so we don't have to do much thing now we don't we have to say that editor dot put string uh name 
you can give any key i'm giving name here okay so what name i have to give uh, i'm simply giving it right now true okay you can pass anything but uh, we just we are just checking right now that user is logged in or not so uh, just take it as a value that login is true okay so editor dot apply in the last and our code is done okay so if uh, this uh, you can recognize this function if you have worked on uh, login already that uh, when user will logged in and if he the credentials are right the end if the task is uh, successful then he can simply we can save the data okay and next thing what we have to do we have to check the data okay so next time what will happen when the user will come to this page okay uh, when you user will open the app we will call in function directly at that time only okay so i'm calling this function as checkbox only okay so uh, in our class in our own create function itself i'm gonna uh, call this function okay uh, we're gonna name it checkbox for now you can give it any name and uh, i'm just calling it okay so we have to create this function so go here create method okay and time to create the function now so just, just go with the object again shared preference shared preference equal to same thing get shared preferences shared press and mode should be private right okay cool uh, we can declare it globally also but uh, this is a be uh, better way to for right now so get shared preferences okay uh, sorry here we have to create an string okay so I'm gonna create an string I'm gonna make it name it check okay and what we're gonna do see this object we're gonna use this shared preference dot get string okay and from where we want to get, uh, get this string from our shared prefs you know what is shared prefs this is string okay remember it this name we have given and this is string we have used okay and uh, here also we have used the same string okay uh, here okay you can see here also and here also and here also okay so we are getting the string from here okay whatever this string we will put here we are getting it now so shared prefs and then what we're gonna do uh, after shared prefs uh, after giving the name after giving the get string uh, we're gonna pass the uh, name of this string okay so get a string and uh, uh better we pass it as name okay because we are getting this string right now so what is the name uh it will get automatically from the our shared preference okay we already give the name here so it have the object and it is just checking who it is just uh, getting the data okay so whatever the name is there it is getting its value okay the value of the name okay and we are taking this uh, whatever the data is coming this data this string into check okay so now i'm gonna use check okay so if 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 check is there okay if check is there and it is equal to and it is equal to true okay we have passed true here now so if it is equal to true then what we're gonna do then we simply gonna make it go to uh, our first activity or whatever screen you want to open after logging in okay after logging in so okay he will be logged in then automatically if this is true okay okay we don't even have to put to else condition it will work here also and uh, after this now you can also call finish okay okay guys so 
uh, we're gonna run this application and we're gonna see that user will logged in automatically or not okay so whatever we are doing right now now we are not using this uh, checkbox button uh, where it is in the activity login you can see uh, we can go from here also in the activity main itself so we are not clicking on this we are just simply uh, saving it after user will log in okay so we can just create a uh, new variable and we can check if uh, remember me is checked or not we can do with that also but let's try this first okay so let me uh, open my emulator just one second okay guys so here is my uh, login screen and i am gonna log in from here so any random account i'm logging in there is nothing much different between password and uh, username okay so this is wrong okay let me try again uh, please work okay so let's create an another account okay so i'm gonna name harshit harshit adraj gmail.com uh password anything okay i'm just giving one uh, i'm giving no nothing much changed okay same as username and i'm adding one two three only so we will remember it easily we have not put any condition right now for a uh, hard password right and uh, this is a random number but uh, so you guys not dial anything for anyone so i'm doing this okay <laughs> okay great so please harshit help us uh, what is the error i think this is already used let's try one okay created successfully and i'm gonna cut it okay so harshit help us not this one uh, harshit Harshit 1 it was right so Harshit 1 and simply Harshit here right Harshit 1 2 and 3 so I'm gonna log in now and let's see what happened okay I'm logged in successfully okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna search for CRUD application and now I'm gonna let's see see guys we don't have to log in again and every time we are logging in what is happening we are just entering into our page right so this is really great right so uh, now what we're gonna do we just uh, gonna get one logout bu button so after uh, pu putting here any logout button now what will happen we will have a power to log out okay so in the main activity i'm gonna go and uh, uh, not in the main activity sorry uh, where is our first activity i want this first activity okay so in the first activity go to this activity first and uh, just put in logout here okay so right now i'm not gonna focus on ui okay because we don't have that much time right now so i'm gonna simply add a button wrap content wrap content anything okay and uh, this should be bottom of this uh, recycle view top to bottom of recycle view okay and uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna name it we're gonna name it logout okay text uh, should be uh, log out okay you can escape it if you don't want, want to like want to learn about these uh, ui thing and uh, left to left of parent and uh, right to right of parent right okay great so we are done now we're gonna give it an id id equal to logout itself okay now we're gonna use it in our first activity so let's go back to our first activity so, okay so i'm gonna create a button here button name should be log log out okay 
and uh, let's connect it with the uh, uh, find by view by id so logout equal to find view by id r dot id dot logout okay okay guys so now let's uh, create one function for for logout button so when someone will click on our logout button uh, okay where is our logout button this one okay so when someone will click on it we are just putting in set on click listener new on click listener okay so when someone will click on it what we gonna do we gonna uh, move it to the main screen okay right so you can just say intent intent equal to new intent you can create and you can pass from this application this uh, uh, screen to main activity right okay and we're gonna start the activity after that we're gonna pass our intent and we're gonna finish this okay we don't want user to come back to this screen right so uh, uh, with after this what we're gonna do the important thing is you you know what we have done in this main activity we created this get uh, shared preference object right so we're gonna uh, we're gonna take the code from here uh, here also yeah uh, here only so just copy this in the task dot successful code and go to your first activity again now simply paste it here okay so what is happening uh shared perifs is not here right so we're gonna go go there again and we're gonna do it just copy this okay and we're gonna come here and simply we're gonna paste it here also uh not in the own create sorry here in the class hey please work okay <laughs> so here okay now what we can do uh we have our shared preference where it is where where we have written okay here so here you can see uh we, we are just calling the editor again and we gonna make it not true okay so we are just uh, giving giving an empty string again while he will log out so the condition here in the main activity will go wrong okay uh, so the condition here will go wrong and he will be he will stay here only okay in the login page so let's run it again and check again okay i'm pausing the application so we are not getting this in the bottom so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make it top to top off okay so top to top off we want it at the top of recycle view okay so now let's try again okay guys so here i have logout button and if i will click on logout okay and if now i will log in it will take me to this page only okay it is not going to first activity directly so this is it and uh, thank you for watching this video if uh, this video is helpful for you please do like this video and for more such videos for more uh, videos related to applications and if you want to create such amazing applications do subscribe this channel because so many videos are about to come and so many different courses are about to come so please do like please do subscribe and stay connected press the notification bell icons for more updates okay so thanks a lot bye bye have a good day